Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Good, thank you. And you? Good, good. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, it's good to see many of you. Hello, Sigfredo and Mirna, Emerson, Lise. Uh, I don't see Mauricio, but I know he's connected. <laughs> uh, Carlos, Jose, uh, Jose Carlos, welcome. Okay. Um, I don't know if the rest of you are there. Jose Salvador, Rafael, Ricardo, Osman, Carlos. I'm here. Perfect, excellent. Okay, how was your day, everybody? My day wasn't bad. Now I pretty good. It wasn't bad. My day wasn't bad. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, what did what did you do? Just um, just work, or did you do something interesting today? Mm, I don't hear you. What did you do? Did you do something interesting today? Uh, the more uh, interesting was uh, the internet uh, company fixed my internet. So now I have an excellent internet. Yay! Okay, good. Yes. Good, excellent. That 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 is interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, good, good, good. Um all right. Okay, guys. Um well um okay. Well, we're gonna start with our class. Um Okay, so we're going to please tell me if you are able to see my screen. Are you guys able to see that? Yes. 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 Oh. I have a problem with that. You have a problem with what? I have. I don't understand. Uh, that um, that situation because uh, I, and I, been uh studied that, but but I don't understand. Mm -hmm. uh, I could you explain that, please? Yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. Okay. All right. So, mm -hmm. okay. So yesterday we were actually um, looking at um, a conversation about describing um, managerial styles. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay, very good. So when we just like when they were describing managerial styles, actually, I'll, I'll show you the conversation so you can see a little better and how I better feel what we're talking about. <clears throat> All right, so here was the conversation. And if you noticed, there were some parts that were in bold. Does the, um, is he the man who sits next to you for lunch? Precisely, he is the advocate who
thinks every single employee is lazy. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best interests of my team. You know, John, the laid bad manager, I'm sorry, who takes this backseat role. Oh, I know. I've, I heard he is the manager who lets subordinates do whatever they want. Okay. So there, these these um these parts that are here underlined, what they are meant to do is to be able to identify who we're talking about. Right? We're able to identify or define what what or who we are talking about. In this case. Okay, so in this case, we're describing the man, right? Who is the man? Who who are, we're able to identify him? Here we're describing the advocate. Here we're describing the one. Here we're describing the laid back manager. Here we're describing the manager. Okay. We're able to identify or define who is the person by using the structure that we have here. Okay. Now, what do you notice about what follows the person? What do you notice about what follows? What do we put there? What's next? Teacher, uh, really, I don't understand what uh, we are doing right now. Um. We're looking at the conversation from yesterday. Oh, okay. okay. And we are analyzing this part that is in bold. Okay. So okay. here we're talking about the man. Here we're about talking about the advocate. Here about the one. Here the laid back manager. Here about the manager. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. But the um, sorry, the 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 who is the connection? Yeah, is our is is the connection when you talk about the uh, the person or or um, in this case is a person because uh, the man uh, he advocate the one or, or when you refer that someone mm -hmm. exactly. you use who. Exactly. Very, very good. That's exactly what, what, what I was asking. What comes after? If you notice, what comes after is the word who. Right after the word, the man, right after here, the advocate, here after the one, here after the laid back manager, here about the manager. So after the person that we are identifying, we are able to use the word who. So for example, if you have this sentence here, is he the, ma the man who sits next to you for lunch? How do you say that's in Spanish? 
quien estaba sentado a la parte tuya. Sorry. El hombre que estaba sentado junto a ti. Okay, so what is the the question is? Sí. In Spanish? ¿Quién era? ¿Quién era el hombre que estaba sentado? No, 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 no quién sentado. era. Ah, sorry. Es él. El... Está el hombre. Ah, está, está, perdón, el hombre. está el hombre. ¿Quién es? Mi, ¿Quién es? Mi... Relative pronoun. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Guys, first, let's... We are just yeah. looking at what this means in Spanish. That's it. Oh. Okay? Just, <laughs> ¿Quién es el hombre que está sentado a la par tuya en el almuerzo? No, ¿quién no, es? Or... No, no será quién, porque quién es who... Eh, Who is? Él es el hombre que sienta a la par tuya en el almuerzo. Es él el hombre que es um, que es es eh, ya es él el es él el hombre que se sienta a la par tuya para el almuerzo. Okay, that would be okay. in Spanish. Okay, so we are identifying which man. Which one are we talking about? Es el, el hombre. ¿Cuál hombre? El hombre que se sienta a la par tuya para el almuerzo. ¿Ok? So we are identifying who the man is. Which man are we talking about? There are so many men. Which one are you talking about? I'm talking about the man mm -hmm. who sits next to you for lunch. ¿Ok? And then, Teacher. yes, yes. Teacher, mm -hmm. I, I have a, a do, do that? A doubt. A doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, when I use who, mm -hmm. and, and mean, can, okay. Who is for a person? So it'd be quien. ¿Y qué? Que is, um, it would be which or that. Which pero, that? Pero, pero ahorita no se preocupen por eso porque no estamos aprendiendo eso todavía. Both. Okay. Okay. I just want you to see this in context. That's it. I just want you to see how we use it in context. Okay, mm -hmm. so here we have the man. This is the person that we are identifying, yeah. and we have who. Here, it's who. Sorry, sorry. Here it's the advocate, advocate, and we're using who. Here, we're identifying the the one, and we're using who. Here, we are identifying laid back manager and we're saying who who it is who is the laid back manager here we're talking about the manager and we're identifying who the manager is okay does that make sense for everybody does that make sense Yes or no? O sea, no, no, no he terminado de, de explicar el, solamente lo que he explicado hasta el momento. ¿Tiene sentido? Miss, in Ahora the case... Can, can you can repeat the, the idea, please. Okay that we are identifying who the people are. Here we're identifying who the man is. Here we're identifying who the advocate is. Here we're identifying who the, the one is. Here we're identifying who the laid back manager is. And here we're identifying who the manager is. Does that make sense? Yes. yes right now, yes. Thank yeah? you. Thank you. 
Yes, uh, Jose Carlos. Okay. By the way that I'm see that mm -hmm. I'm seeing, I understand something similar to the relative pronouns because by the way that we have first the subject after a connector and after that another idea or another complement or another clause. That's what I understand when I saw which word I you selected in this specific way. That that's my opinion. Relative yes. pronoun. Relative pronouns. That's right. This this Rules. is these are this is a relative pronoun. Yes, but right now we're not looking like. O sea, ahorita solo estoy haciéndolo paso a paso. No le estoy explicando todavía todo. Solo ustedes le estoy enseñando cómo ustedes pueden ver cómo se utiliza en en la conversación en contexto. Eso es todo. Solo le estoy explicando. Ah, miren, eh, estamos en en la oración. En esta oración estamos explicando quién es ese hombre. Eso es todo. No estoy explicando gramática todavía. Okay. Solo estoy viendo, okay. solo estoy diciendo para que ustedes vean en contexto es que, que se está identificando una persona. Eso es todo. So far so good. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Sure. Teacher, uh -huh. uh, I don't know, will be, for example, in the first sentences, mm -hmm. uh, who is the person? The person is sit next to you for lunch only. Yeah, so the so the way I can identify the man is by telling me that, that he's the man who sits next to you for lunch. Because there are so many men, right? Maybe... There are so many men in the in the in the in the workplace. So which one are you talking about? I'm talking about the man who sits next to you for lunch. Okay. Okay. For example, in the second sentences, uh, who is the person? It makes decision in the best interest of my team. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Exactly. What kind of person am I? I'm the person, I'm the, the kind of person who makes decisions in the best interests of my team. Okay? So I'm identifying what kind of person I am. Yeah? Over here, I'm identifying what kind of manager I am. Or he is, better so. What kind of manager is, is he? He's the type of manager who lets his subordinates do whatever he, they want. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. Great. So I'm all we're doing here is being able to identify how to use it in context. Now I'm going to go ahead and explain the part that is grammatical. Okay? So... Now that you've seen how to use it, let's get down to business on how to create it. Okay. How are we going to create this? Somebody already mentioned about relative clauses, and that is exactly what we're talking about. These are relative clauses. Okay. So how do you create a relative clause? The first thing you do is you have a subject, okay? So, subject B, he is the manager, the businessman, the employee. These are the people who we are talking about. The people we're going to describe, the people who we're gonna identify. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes, the subject. Yes. Okay, good. All right, perfect. So now we know that we uh who we are describing, who are we talking about? Next, we're going to use the word who. We are only going to use the word who because this uh, we are talking or we're describing about a person. 
We're not talking about um, things or situations. We're talking about people. Okay, so right now, because we're talking about people, this is the only one we're going to use. The relative pronoun is going to be who. Now, something you have to be careful about is where you put the relative pronoun. Because um, I've seen people having problems with uh, putting the relative pronoun in different in positions. Just be careful because the relative pronoun always goes after the subject. Okay, if it goes before the subject, it's incorrect. If there, if you are putting it like almost like at the end of the sentence, it's incorrect. All right, does that sound yeah. good? Do we understand this? Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, good. Now, the word who, actually to be very honest, this part here is the relative clause. This part here. This part here is the relative, is, is called a relative clause. Um, or it can also be called an adjective clause. Why do we call it an adjective clause? Because it acts like an adjective. An adjective describes a person, right? Like tall, short, old, young. It describes a person, right? That's what an adjective does. So the same thing happens with a, a relative clause or an adjective clause. It's describing a person. So we are able to identify who we're talking about. It's describing it, the person. Does that make sense so far? Yes, yes, yeah? thank you. Okay. That's the relative clause. Yeah, so it's called, it's called a relative clause or an adjective clause. It's the same thing, okay? And I'm just explaining why we call it an adjective clause. And it's because we are, this part here describes the person. Okay, so this part here that I have here is describing this. Okay? So far so good? Okay. Okay. All right, so. A after okay so because this is a relative clause the clause is going to need a subject what's a subject the subject is the relative pronoun so the relative pronoun who acts like a subject in the relative clause that's why i wanted to show you that this part is separate from this because this part is the part that becomes the the relative pronoun sorry the relative clause and in the relative clause we have the subject the subject is who okay does that make sense for everybody hello Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Okay. Great. So who is the subject of the relative clause or the subject, the, the adjective clause? Now, after a subject, what comes what always comes after a subject in any sentence? What comes after? A verb. A, a verb. It always comes after a subject, we always have a verb, right? So if, if who is our subject, then it's gonna, then what we need to follow is a verb. In this case, we have thinks, made, is. Okay? 
Does that make sense? Yes, so first... teacher. The, the rule is that the 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 in relative and these clause and relative a uh, clause is the subject relative pronoun and then bear mm -hmm. after uh, and and then bear and complement. Yeah, and if this is know... the rule. Yes, exactly. And if you notice, the verb is going to be used in the third person singular because who is used as if it were a third person singular, okay? So we're gonna say who thinks, who made, who is. We're always gonna use the third person singular form of the verb, okay? And after that, we're gonna have the complement if it's, it's necessary, which usually it is. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Uh, I could say a uh, uh, subject plus relative pronoun plus verb right. plus complement. Yes. Yeah. Any mm -hmm. structure? That's the structure. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. So. Okay. So now, if I say he is the manager who thinks all employees are lazy, we are able to identify which manager you're talking about. Which manager are you talking about? There's, there are many managers. Which one? The one who thinks all employees are lazy. The businessman. Which businessman are you talking about? There are so many businessmen. It's We're talking about the one who made decisions unilaterally. Okay. All right. So who made decisions unilaterally? Then we're talking about the employee. Which employee are you talking about? There are many employees. Uh, the I'm talking about the employee who is organizing a training. That employee. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, I have a question. Yes. The bear is always. Uh, it has a base form in this case. No, it's not in the base form. Because if it's if you notice it says thinks made is that's not the base form. This is the form of the third person singular simple present. Um, depend of the person. No, it's always gonna be the third person singular because okay. who is in is considered like a third person singular. singular. Okay, all right. Okay. Teacher, in this yeah. case, uh, the second sentence could be maze. No, because in this case, we're talking about the past. Who made, made is in the past. Quien hizo. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So it's not necessarily always going to be in the in the present. Going to be the past. Going to be the the future. Any form, but the verb has to be used with like like you're used in third person singular. Okay. Does that make okay. sense? It's only the topic is just uh, talking about uh, someone else, right? Yes, we are identifying the yeah. person. We're, we're, okay. Estamos tratando de identificar de quién estamos hablando. So that's why we use relative clause to be able to identify who we're talking about. 
and relative clauses can also be called adjective clauses. Por eso siempre va a ser tercera persona. Um, because the word who is yeah. The third, yeah, is considered third person okay. singular. Got it. Okay. It's like, it's like, for example, the word nobody. Nobody. If I say nobody, do I say nobody are at the door or nobody is at the door? Do you say nobody are at the door or nobody is at the door? Um, those are third person is, is the, the answer is. Sorry, I, 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 no sé si se le cortó. No, no escuchamos lo último. Uh, the answer is, is. Oh, thank you. Yes, exactly. You say nobody is at the door. Because nobody, we we consider that nobody yes, is a third person singular. So the same thing, who, we consider that who is a third person singular. That's why we're always going to use the verb that follows in the third person singular. So far so good? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, all right. And there are more relative pronouns, yes. But right now we're not gonna learn about that. I don't want you to be getting more confused, okay? Because right now all we're doing is identifying people. Because we're identifying people, the only thing you're gonna be using is who. Okay? Sounds good? Yeah. Yes, yes, it's it's good. Okay. All right. So now it's okay, it's clear the 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 grammar. Yes, for for the moment it's clear. Any questions that you want to ask? You can ask right now. Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't understand. Maybe repeat, please. Why the first sentences the verb things, the second in the past may. Um, because you can use any tense you want. It can mean the present, the future, the past. Él es el gerente quien piensa, quien piensa, ¿por qué? Porque siempre lo piensa. It's a fact, right? He, quien piensa que todos los empleados son holgazanes. Él es el hombre de negocios quien, um, quien tomó una decisión o que, o que tomó decisiones unilaterales. ¿Por qué? Porque lo tomó en el pasado. So it, it depends on the context. The employee who is organizing um, a training is organizing. De hecho, si ustedes notan, this is simple present, simple past, present progressive. They're different tenses. So you can use any tense you want. So the employee is who is organizing a training, el empleado, el empleado quien está organizando un entrenamiento. Okay, so the tense is not important. You can use the present, the past, the, the future, anything you want. But whatever it is that you are talking about has to be agreeing with the third person singular. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Sorry, teacher, but if you, if I can use in, in future, for example, we can we can say the employee who will is organize a training or we can no. use will or not. How do you okay? If if this was if this was he, how would you use the future? How would you use the future? He you will. say will he, he will he will say, yeah you say he will organize he will um, right organize or organize also, yeah or also in the future we could use is going to going. organize uh, okay. for example right or um will be organized will be organized etc cetera, etc cetera. it doesn't really matter it doesn't it doesn't matter what future it is as long as it is used as the third person singular just like he in this case we're not using he we're using who but it's the same thing okay thank okay you. yes thank so you. in this case so who will be organizing who is for example who is um going to organize Or who will organize, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't really matter. The 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 verb, the the tense of the verb is not important. You can use any tense. Simple present, simple past, a simple future, present progressive, past progressive, future progressive, a uh the uh present perfect, past perfect future perfect, the past, um, the present perfect progressive, past perfect progressive, future perfect progressive. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What's important is that it's used as if we we're using the third person singular. Just imagine like you're using he. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? So this is actually a very simple structure. It's not complicated at all. It's not complicated. All you do is you identify you you find who you are talking about, who is the person that you want um, you want to describe. Then we add the word who. We add, a, we add the verb in the third person singular, independent of if it's present, past, or future, and then the the rest of the complement. That's it. Sounds good? Yes, sounds good. Yes. Any questions? Anything you want to ask about? Okay, all right. So since I think most of you uh, or all of you um, have understood it 100%, let's put it into practice. So we're going to do these, these sentences. Write sentences using the relative pronoun who. Add the missing words and, con and conjugate the verbs correctly. The first one has been done for you as an example. So the president, someone lead the company. So here, the subject or the person that I'm going to be describing is the president. Right? Okay, so obviously the president is a person, so we're going to use the word someone, and the information Where that is going okay. to describe is going to be um, 
is going to be this information here. Lead the company. So we're going to say the president is someone. Okay. So here, if you notice, someone. And after that, we're going to put in who. Right? Because we always put who. And then comes the verb, lead. But it's not just lead, it's leads, because it's the third person singular, and it's in the present. And then we use the complement, the company. Sounds good, everybody? Do we understand what we're going to do? Is that pretty clear? Um, um, can you repeat the instruction, please? Just take the information you have here and put it in make a relative pronoun. Uh, sorry, a relative clause. Yeah? No, it, uh, add who and change the verb if necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just just, okay. just changing the, sent the information or taking the information, better said. Um, and creating a relative clause. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good, everybody. Um. Did you send uh, the image in the WhatsApp group? No, I'm. I'm doing that right now. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now you should have it. Yes, thank you. Okay, all right. Eh, les recuerdo a todos de que necesitamos tener nuestra cámara, cámara uh, encendida. Veo la mayoría, pero aún no veo algunos. Um, okay. Thank you, Jose Salvador. Thank you for the information. Edwin and Antonio, ¿está usted ahí? Edwin Antonio yes. Quinteros, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can you turn on your camera? Edwin? Yes, I can. Okay. All right, wonderful, thank you. And Rafael Alexander? Teacher, um, I don't have a, a, a t-shirt um, in this moment because it's very hot, the weather, sorry. Okay, but still you need you need to turn on the camera. Um, so maybe you can put on, um, I don't know, like a, uh, a, a t-shirt with like made of cotton or something. El, el detalle está, chicos, de que encender la cámara no es opcional. O sea, eh, hay algo que, que no, no sé si se les ha explicado en el pasado, pero no es una opción si la queremos tener encendida o no. Eh, es parte de los requisitos, entonces necesitamos cumplir con ellos aunque tal vez no sea lo, lo que quisiéramos idealmente hacer, ¿verdad? pero sí necesitamos tener la cámara encendida. Eh, de lo contrario, es como que usted no estuviera allí, ¿verdad? Porque no podemos verlo, no sabemos. Entonces, ah, por eso es de que insisto, porque no quiero que ustedes terminen teniendo inconvenientes, problemas ahí para pasar el curso porque simplemente no estaba en la clase, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, así que si, si me hace el gran favor de tal vez buscar ahí algo um, que sea un poco... Yo sé que, que no es tan fácil, lo entiendo, pero piense como que están en el trabajo. O sea, en el trabajo... Bueno, tenemos que, que llegar al, al trabajo y, 
y ar bien vestidos, aunque, aunque tal vez el, el clima no esté lo más agradable, ¿verdad? Pero tenemos que ponernos, si tenemos un uniforme, pues ni modo, tenemos que ponerlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, es, es lo, lo mismo con esto. Tenemos que hacer esos sacrificios porque son parte de los reglamentos, ¿verdad? Y todos nos comprometimos a ello, ¿ok? Um, ok. Y... Um, okay, so we're going to put you guys into breakout rooms. And so that you can work on the exercise, okay? And I'm going to open up the rooms right now. Hello, Emerson. Can you hear me? Service is the complement. Okay. Okay. And number three. It's a one person, an autocratic manager. If someone makes decision alone, is is someone who makes decisions alone. Yes, makes with that because it's it's a third person. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. An automatic manager is someone who makes decision alone. Yeah, I am. I agree. Okay. In number three and number four, I think that chaotic managers are people who give total control to their subordinate. Yes, it's similar with the number two. With the number because two. Because it's plural, yeah. yeah. It's plural, yeah. But, uh, yes, it's plural. He, he yeah, he, he, yeah. And next one. Number five. I see. Yeah. Uh, it's an important person who make who makes major corporate decisions. Yes, we see. Yeah. Because the third person makes. Yeah. And this and the last one, a general contractor is an employee who provides provides, provides material yeah. for a labor. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's the third person. The third person, yeah, provides yeah. with this. <laughs> yes. Okay. You type the sentences. Sorry? No. You type the sentences. Yes, I type it no. in my notebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I type in my notebook. And you? No. <laughs> the real. Yes, in your ah, yes, in is your mind. Yeah. I um, <laughs> if if um, I think this uh, uh, a homework. I don't. I don't remember what part is. But I think this uh, exercise is uh, in a homework. Oh really? And I yeah yeah, and <laughs> I, I don't I, yeah. And, and when when I read, I did my homework today. <laughs> no, when oh. I read this exercise, I I I understand. Yeah, because oh. and uh, yeah, because I 
uh, I can uh, put in order the different words. Tendríamos en la segunda tendríamos que usar al inicio el premium user y ahí va people. Entonces sería Ajá. the premium user the premium user is people the people is is uh -huh. is people is people um, okay hold on just a moment people singular or plural singular singular people what is people What is the word people in Spanish? Uh, personas. Personas. So singular or plural? Mm -hmm. uh, plural. Plural. Sería plural. It's plural. Porque habla de varias. Yeah, so we yes. can say is. Okay. The user. Pero esta bien así la idea, teacher. Okay, if we're talking about people, we have to put we have it has to be plural so the verb has to be in plural we can't don't say is does that make sense so just so the peep uh -huh. uh, for example premium user people Okay, so Pre premium premium user is people. Okay, people. premium users is uh -huh. is no porque porque it's premium users plural. Oh. Y entonces premium user people. No. The the what is the plural form of of be. Or by is is for he, she, it. Yes. Mm -hmm. For I use am and for they. Mm -hmm. The or User is. El plural de is. I am you. I am, he is, she is, it is, they. Verbo to be. Estamos hablando de algo bien básico. Verbo to be. They are. Exactly, are. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So they are. So we say premium users are, not premium user is. Are, are users people. Is plural. Uh, user are people. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, the premium user are people who, who? upgraded. Oh, so upgraded. Who upgraded? Upgraded. 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 Mm-hmm. To platinum uh, service. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Platinum. Platinum. Oh. Plat no platinum. Plat platinum no. Platinum. Plat platinum. 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 Yes, platinum. Platinum. Uh, okay. Platinum. 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 So, sorry, teacher. No repeat el. Eh, eh, la letra T entonces platinum así platinum platinum okay platinum teacher mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, only that use the verb to be mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Only that use the verb to be. The verb to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number three. Number three. And outro. And autocratic. Monica. Okay. Sure. Hola. Um, Hola. Hello, um, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi, um, hi teacher. Are you finished? Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Uh, we I, have uh, a doubt. I, I have uh, a doubt. Okay. Yes. Yeah. In the number. In the second one. Second. Okay. Uh, we have sentences. Uh, the premium users are people who uh, upgrade to platinum services. Yes, that's correct. But I, I, we are in pass. Yeah, go ahead, Mauricio. Uh, the pair is in pass, but I use R. No, you did it correctly. Why? Why, why no? Where? Um, because, because the verb in past. Yes, but they continue being. It's it's true in the present. It's not about the past. O sea, no era que en el pasado eran esas personas, sino que siempre siguen siendo esas personas. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. The second one is okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, and Mauricio, can do me a favor. Uh, you right now you appear only as Mauricio Val uh, Velasquez. I need you to change it so you have a complete yeah, yeah. your complete name. Okay, sure. 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 Okay. I I change immediately. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Uh, um, Carlo. Okay, number three, <clears throat> we have an autocratic manager. Okay. Okay. Miss, we, we have done. You're finished? Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. All right, great. I'm going to go and see the uh, another group and then I'll return you back to the main room. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. How are you guys doing? Are we finished? No, yet. Not teacher. We will be in that. Okay. We have a doubt with the uh, number four. Yeah. Uh, the translator of the, the sentences not have a coherence. Coherence. Sorry, I didn't understand your question. Do you guys have questions? Yes, we have a question with the number four. Uh, uh -huh. When sorry, slate uh, number four, uh -huh. chaotic manager, people. So I don't feel that's all right. Yes, because you're you, you're missing the verb to be. Yes. So, so you say chaotic, chaotic managers. And then we, we need the verb to be here. So, los herentes caóticos son personas, right? Are people. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. Is similar the next.
Si yo. Es importante la persona que hace las mayores corporaciones de decisiones. Many people uh, advise me. Many people advise advise, advise me that uh, that. Right. Okay. Okay, but, teacher. But... We already finished. You finished. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay. I will see you in the main room. Okay. Okay. What else? All right, do I have everybody back? I think so, teacher. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, let's check. Mm, give me a moment. Don't see it. Okay. Give me one second, guys. I know the answer. <laughs> the third one is an employee. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, here we go. So, number one has been done for us. Remember that if we're talking about plurals, we have to use the verb to be in the plural. So it's not, we're not going to say is, but we're going to say are. Okay, so that's just, just a reminder. Okay, so we say number two, premium users, people upgraded to platinum services. So you can, can I, Can I try? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay, premium user are people who upgrade to platinum services. Okay, so premium users are people. Um, people what? Who? 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 who upgrade. Who upgrade to platinum services? Upgrade to platinum. Platinum, platinum, sorry. Pla <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. Platinum. We, we say platinum. Pla platinum. No. Platinum. Yeah, platinum services. Okay. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yes. Yes? Yes. yes? yes. Great. I agree too. Okay. And so remember, we're saying p users are because it's plural. Okay, so we can't say uh, users is, say users are. Okay, next. The autocratic mm -hmm. manager, someone makes decisions alone. Teacher, excuse me. Yeah, in the second sentence, we use the verb in past, right? Yeah, upgraded okay. in the past. Okay. Because they, they upgraded it in the past. Okay, okay. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Okay. Number three. Number three, teacher. An autocratic manager 
is someone who makes decision alone. What do you think? Do you agree with this, guys? Is this okay? Yes, I yes. agree. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Let's go on to the next part. Chaotic managers, people give total control to their subordinates. Uh, chaotic is the pronunciation teacher. Chaotic. 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 Managers. Mm -hmm. Managers. Chaotic. Okay. Managers are people. Are people. Good. Are people. We're noticed. Not is people because we're talking about plural, right? Okay. Uh huh. Who are give totally control to their subordinates. To give total control to their subordinates. No, sorry, subordinates. Sorry. Okay. Do you agree? Absolutely. Yes, Tisha. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Very, very good. All right. A C O a C E O. An important person make major corporate decisions. A C A O. A C E O. A E O. And is an important? No. Yes, an, is an important person make major or make. Decision. Okay. Do you guys agree? No. 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 Missing the the part the word who miss the word who and the verb in the third person. So how do we put the verb who then? Where do where do we put the who? Person who. After Next. the person. Before the, person. the verb. Good. Very good. Exactly. Before the verb. That's a very important rule there. Before the verb. So we have to say. Who. Who makes. Who makes. makes. Exactly. Because we are describing one person, right? We're describing one person. So the who, which is the, 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 the subject is going to be in the third person singular makes here we don't we here we didn't put it because the who is referring to people right so in this case it's it's plural, it's, it's plural so we're gonna we don't say gifts if it was a person if it's if this said people then the who would be singular Right? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes. Got it. Okay. So a CEO is an important person who makes major corporate decisions. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's continue then. A general contractor employee provide materials for labor. A uh, general contractor, contractor is an employee who provides is an employee an employee who provides materials for labor who provides materials for labor okay what do you guys think about that do you agree? Yes, I agree. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Provide it. Yeah. Okay. 
Bravo, you guys got it. Excellent. All right, you you guys got it. You're you're an expert. You're experts now. Teacher, okay. I, I have a question. Yeah. Why we need to use an employee? Um is obli we are obligated to use an because it's only one. Mm, we don't. It's a uh, we are obligated yeah. to use an. Yes, or yeah. it's an option. No. No, we okay. have to use the an because we're showing that way that it's only one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. All right. Sounds like you guys got it. So what we're going to do then is, um, okay, let me stop sharing for a moment. Okay, um, can you please tell me if you are able to see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we have here some questions that I want you, that I'd like to, us to discuss as a group, as a class. So how would you define leadership? What is your definition of a leadership, of leadership? Mm -hmm. or, or we don't have a definition for leadership. Do, do you understand the word leadership? Yes. It's a quality. It's a quality. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of quality? To, to guide another people. Okay. Okay, so we can say that maybe leadership is a quality that helps guide other people. For example. Okay, sure. Yeah, very good. Another definition? Something you want to add? Maybe someone who mobilize, mobilize people toward complete a vision. Somebody who, sir, could you repeat that again, Maida? Mobilize or move. Okay. People that that move. Is that right? Yes. To yes. Just people that move. La gente que se mueve. Okay, Jose Carlos. Um, yes, I think is a person who can uh, manage a, a, a group of persons, a group of people. Who can manage people, mm. good people. Mm -hmm. Or who, who can manage uh, good people or can manage well people. Who can manage well, well. Okay, all right. Okay, good, all right. Okay. Okay. Today we were discussing something similar, and so we define that a leadership is a person that have the not influence to persuade to other ones, 
but it doesn't mean that it is all is good, all is correct, but he has the, the energy to attract to other one to focus on he want to follow this this person. However, it doesn't mean he is a good management. That's what we were discussing today in my job. Okay, so leadership and manage were different. Mm, okay, so good leadership is one thing and good management is another thing. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Okay. So so then maybe sometime they can go together. Maybe sometime, but not at all. Okay. All right. Right. That's my opinion. Okay. All right. So would you say that influencers have leadership? Yes, for sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do they have uh do they have good management? Yes, of course. Yes. 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 Uh, teacher. Uh huh. Uh, for me, and concept uh, is a leadership is a complex and multifaceted uh, and concept that involves the ability to guide, inspire, and inf influence for the other actual common. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're absolutely right about that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's it's definitely complex. Yeah, okay. So let's discuss this, this part here, this quote. Leadership is much less about what you do and much more about who you are. Do you agree with that? What does that mean yeah. for you? Yeah. Leadership. leadership is much less about what you do and much more about who you are what do you think about that what are your thoughts about this sentence so what does this mean mm -hmm. Be before we discuss if you agree with it let's discuss what it means Hello. Mm -hmm. eh, yes. mi, ma, mi opinion, teacher. No, no sé si estará bien. Well, what would you define, define the leadership? A personal a leadership is shared by good uh, attitude, uh, being able to work as a team and make difference. I'm so said important in my work. Okay. This is my opinion, teacher. Yeah, okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. In sharing my opinion about that uh, phrase, I think that the leadership is a person that motivate to others to do something. Okay, I understand that about the 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 paragraph that the leadership is much is much less about what you do and much more about who you are is is a person that who's motivated to do something. Okay. Okay. So leadership, many people like they would define leadership as somebody who is proactive and makes people follow. But this sentence kind of tells you just the opposite, that you don't necessarily have to do something in order to be to have good leadership. Instead, you, it's more about who you are. Do you, what do you think about that? Yes, the leadership motivate others that do the 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 thing, not a specific that the leadership do something. He is the 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 person that motivates others to do mm -hmm. that the, the mm -hmm. goals or or 
or the job uh, or mm -hmm. the the task in your job is mm -hmm. he he is a person that motivate motivates or right. motivate others right somebody that motivates others okay so um so basically then we're saying that a leadership uh a, a better said uh, somebody who has leadership is going to motivate someone not by what they do but about who they are depends on who they are right um so in other words um I may see somebody doing something, but if I don't respect who that person is, I'm probably not gonna be motivated to follow in their steps. Right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? So if I see somebody, I see X person doing something, is that going to motivate me? Probably not. Not just looking at the person seeing some doing something, it's not gonna motivate me. But if I know the person and I respect who they are, right? Not what they do, but who they are as a person, I'm probably going to want to do the same thing that they are doing. Does that make sense? Yes, no. Hi. Excuse me, uh, can you repeat? <laughs> sure. Okay. I'm I'm saying that if I feel uh, respect, admiration for a person, for who the person is, I will be more motivated to do something, to follow something, what they say, even if they don't do something, rather than just seeing someone do something, but I don't feel anything for who they are. Maybe I don't respect the person. If I don't respect the person, if I don't admire them, I'm probably not going to feel motivated to follow in their footsteps. Yes, I agree with you because the leadership, I, I think that is the, the, the quality that the leadership have is a uh, respect for others, respect the 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 ideas that others have. And, and I think that this is the, the quality that the leadership have. And if I don't respect my my boss, for example, my boss is not this is not leadership, for example. I I because leadership is other things that mm -hmm. I think that this a quality that the leadership have respect human person and kind kind and and motivate to others is the quality that the the, the leadership maybe mm -hmm. have okay mm -hmm. yeah so so to be a good leader you have to not only do things but work on who you are that's what the sent this is this this um quote is kind of saying, right? It's about who you are, not what you do. Okay. Be sure. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Leadership mm -hmm. is, is, is similar like adjective because leadership describe a people, uh, a person? No. Like who you, no. No, uh, leadership is a noun. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, teacher. Yeah. Uh, leadership is much less about what 
you do. This part suggests your leadership is not just a checking list of tasks or a set action. It's no merely about the external observing behavioral role that the person takes wants. Can you repeat the last part? What? Can, can you repeat the last part? Okay. Uh, uh, in concept for me, mm -hmm. and I, I, I read in any book, this part is, leadership is my, it's much less about what you do. This part is to get that the leadership is not just a checking list. Mm -hmm. O sea, que no es una, una lista mm -hmm. que hay que cumplir. Right. They call a set of action. It mm -hmm. is not merely about the extent, external observable behavior or role that the person takes on. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's yeah. It. It's not so much external. Yeah. Yeah. It's not so much external, but internal. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Let me stop sharing for a moment. Okay. So now that we've discussed a little bit about leadership, uh, we're actually going to be reading a bit about it. So... Please tell me if you are able to see it. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have, great, excellent. So we have um, a a passage, a, a paragraph here um, about uh, the industry business, um, the, an industry and business magnet and a uh, philanthropist. So we are going to read it. It's three paragraphs. Yeah, three paragraphs. So I'm gonna need three volunteers. Who would like to volunteer? You can raise your virtual hand okay Maida wonderful Maida you can read the first paragraph who wants to read the second paragraph me teacher can I who's me Mirna <laughs> okay so all right Mirna you can read so you're going to read the second paragraph okay and uh, who wants to read the third one can you please raise your hand so it's Easy for me to see. Who wants to read the last paragraph? No, I'm just reading. It's, it's only reading. Okay, I start. Oh, hold, hold on, just give me a moment. Um, somebody wants to read the third paragraph? We need a volunteer for the third paragraph. Come on, guys and girls, it's just reading, only reading. Me teacher, me teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to have Jose. Jose, ¿qué? Uh, levantó la mano. Mauricio. Okay, eh, le dije que uh, levantara la mano. Alguien levantó la mano, pero no sé quién era. <laughs> Yo, me teacher. <laughs> but no matter, my partner is good. Okay, I... es que lo que lo que sucede va algo algo que 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 por qué razón les pido que levanten la mano es porque cuando yo estoy compartiendo no puedo ver toda la clase solo termino viendo a como tres personas 
y tengo que estar pasando la, los, los cuadritos, digamos, para poder ver a todos. Entonces, por eso es de que les digo, eh, levanten la mano, porque así, cuando levantan la mano, aparecen los, eh, los primeros, aparecen primero y entonces yo puedo fácilmente ver. Pero de lo contrario, no tengo idea quién está hablando, si, se, si, no, si no hacen de esa forma. Does that make sense? Entonces, no sé, no sé quién, quién, quién habló, no sé quién, quién levantó la mano. No sé. So, who wants to read the third one? Ah, can you read, can you read? Can you raise your hand? Alguien que... ¿Quién quiere? A volunteer to read the, the last paragraph? Somebody, anybody. Come on, guys. Quickly, quickly. Se nos está yendo el tiempo. Okay. Eh, who's me? Me, Jorge Antonio okay. Sanchez. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So let's start. I think Mayra was going to read the first one, right? Yes. Okay. Go for it, Mayra. Okay. John Davidson Rockefeller was an American oil industry business magnate and philanthropist. Born in 1839, Rockefeller became, became an assistant bookkeeper at the age of 16. He worked long hours and delayed as he later recalled, in all the method and system of the office. Thank you very much, Maida. Thank you, excellent. Uh, just keep in mind though, with the dates, uh, we read them in two, two parts, okay? The dates okay. are very simple. We just say, don't, it's even, it's, it's even simpler than in Spanish because we just write, we just write it or read it 18, and then the other one, 39, okay. 1839, okay. And uh, magnet, magnet, we say magnet. Okay, very good. Next, I think it was Mirna. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, making 50 cents a day, the full salary for his first three months work was uh, $50. And he's young. Rockefeller reportedly said that his two great, great ambition were to make uh, 100,000 equivalent to $3 million in 2016 and to live 100 years. Thank you very much, Pina. Very good. Um, so um, we say equivalent. 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 Equ yeah. Equivalent, sir. Yes, it's, uh -huh, it's good. And to live. To, to live. live. Yeah, to live. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, I say to live. Yeah, to <laughs> live. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. To live. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, last one. Last paragraph. Maurice B. Clark was the first man who Rockefeller partnered with the core business opportunity when he was 20. Refining was the business that he focused on instead of oil drilling. Rockefeller formally founded the Standard Oil Company Inc. in 1817. Henry Flagger and Samuel Andrews are some of the people that Rockefeller partnered with the run on the Standard Oil Company Inc. until 1897, he became the richest person in the Jewish Jews. All right, round of applause. Excellent, very good. Thank you for the three of you. Um, okay, excellent. So, have you guys ever heard of Rockefeller? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so he's, 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 he's a pretty well known, 
Um, and it's something quite amazing because when he started working, he was only making 50 cents a day. And for three full months, he was only able to make 50 cents, sorry, $50. That was it. Three months. $50. 50. And then he had a dream. He had a dream of making 10, sorry, a hundred thousand dollars, which nowadays is actually more than three million because this was from 2016 and now we are seven years later. So we're definitely talking probably about, I don't know, four or five million by by these standards. Um yeah. So and pretty much like he was not able to make this amount. He became the richest person in the US. The richest person. What do you guys think about that? What do you think about this story? Mm -hmm. It was a rich, a rich person. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But did it, did he start as a rich person? Because he, there was oil industry business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, that's right. But was it was it just coincidence? Was it a coincidence that he became rich? Oh, I think that he had to work. Yeah, he definitely had to work, right? And he had a dream. Imagine going from fifty dollars in three months to wanting to make a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. That's huge. That's a huge difference. That's like me making, I don't know, a thousand dollars a month. And I want one day to make not a $1,000 a month, but I want to make $500,000 a month. Probably more. And then he didn't just do that. He became the richest person in the US. It's pretty amazing, huh? Any questions about the vocabulary? Yes, bookkeeper. What does that mean? Mm, yeah, that's a very good question. Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper is a person who keeps the records of the finance in a company. So all the finances from the company, you have to record them, right? You have to write them down. That's a bookkeeper. Somebody who keeps the record. Like contador in Spanish? Well, not exactly contador. Collector? Eh, o sea, es que lo que sucede es de que creo que hoy en día... Um, los contadores hacen de todo. But really, a bookkeeper is not actually an accountant. An accountant is a tool, is a different. It's it's the same area, but it's different. So the bookkeeper only works on the record of the finances. That's it. That's all they do. Okay. So they they keep records of the finances. Does that make sense? Yes. I think, I don't remember, I, I've heard a term before in Spanish. Let me see.
Uh, share the, it's like a it's like a broker now maybe no 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 it's different oh. no it's just it, literally um when you say like in spanish el tenedor de libros yeah okay does that make sense just make an uh, and register everything that the company do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You, th that's all they do. Like that's that's the only thing. They don't they don't make calculations or anything like that. They just register. They just register exactly everything that the company does. Just write it down in a book. Or in nowadays it's not writing it down it's keeping it in the files in the computer okay sounds good teacher i i have a question and yeah. can you explain when we use the apostrophe apostrophe and when when say his first three months work why we use the apostrophe 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 uh because um the work is the possession of the three months So the, the, okay. the, okay. the, the okay. work refers to, corresponds, let's say, to the, the first three months. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Okay. Ugh, sorry. I'm really bad at drawing. <laughs> okay. Any other questions about vocabulary? Pronunciation. No? Mm. Deep light. What is the meaning? Deep light. Or drilling. In the park, he worked long hours and lighted. Mm. The, the pronunciation or the meaning? Both. Mm. Okay. Delighted. Delighted. Okay, and delighted means to um, find joy and some find some to find something being pleasant. So in Spanish, you say encantado, deleitarse. Mm, no. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Any other questions that you have? Report deadly. Report deadly. Report deadly. What do you mean? Oh, the pronunciation? Are you talking about pronunciation or the meaning? Yeah, the pronunciation and mean. The meaning is to make yeah, a report. Yeah, yeah. The pronunciation report. Mean is to to make a report oh. and the the sorry that's the, the, the meaning sorry yeah. the meaning is to make a report and the pronunciation yeah. is reportedly report. reportedly the reportedly 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 mm -hmm. thank you report. Report. all right
Anything else? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. In that case, since you already did this, we understand that. Um, and let's answer some questions. So these questions are about the top, about what we just read. So, Rock, uh, Rockefeller reportedly said, what did he say? that you agree yes in the center we probably say that he's true okay so we say Rockefeller reporter said that mm -hmm. that his great his two great ambitions were blah 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 okay so that Maurice, sorry, Morris B. Clark was the first man. Who? 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 Good. Who? A Rockefeller partnered with. And refined was the business. Sorry, refining was the business. That. 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 That uh, he focused on instead of oil drilling. Okay, very good. Okay, you know what these are? Do you know what the name of this is? Do you know? No. Do you have any idea? What does it look like? ¿A qué le recuerda? Mm -hmm. Relative pronoun. Relative clauses. Exactly. And this is exactly Close. what it is. These are also relative clauses, okay? So let's talk a little bit about those relative clauses. Okay, let's talk a little bit about those ones. Um, okay, remember what I told you about last, uh, remember what I told you last time, or just a few, like, like about an hour ago when we we're looking at the relative clauses that, you, I just wanted you to use who right now, that I didn't want you to be worried about anything else, just using who. When do we use who? We use who for? Person. Or yeah, for a person. For a person. For a person. Mm -hmm, exactly. So, but when the relative pronoun is the object of the defining relative clause, it is usually omitted, okay? So, Example, he is a lawyer that the manager met at the meeting. Um, another, another word I can use for this is, you know, what's another word I can use? He is a lawyer. Who? Ooh, yeah, exactly. Why? Because, because um, who is talking about the lawyer? The lawyer is a person, right? So that's another one we can use. So we can say, he is a lawyer who the manager met at the, at the meeting. 
okay? Um, now, it's also, it's possible to use the word that. So that can be used both for people and for things, okay? That can be used for people and for things, okay? So we can use it for both. So what that means is this. If I go back to the sentences that we had at the beginning, it is possible not necessary, but it is possible to say that. Okay. So it's possible for me to say he is the manager that thinks all employees are lazy. The businessman that made bad decisions unilaterally. The employee that is organizing a training. So far so good? Yeah. Yeah? So we learned at the yeah. beginning of this class that we use who, but now we're learning that it's also possible to use the word that. Okay, now in these sentences, in these sentences, the who is the subject of the relative clause, right? Yes? Yes or no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, right? Okay, good. So, who, that or that, is the subject. That's why uh, we use the verb right after. Okay. So far, so good, right? We're understanding this? We understand this or no? Vamos paso a paso. Así que no me necesitan entender todo, solo hasta lo que he explicado. Yeah? Yes, no. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. And that part we can use both, who and that. Yes. And who and that is the subject of the relative clause. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. All right, excellent. Thank you. So up to that point, we're fine. Now we're going to move on. Now that we understand that, let's move on to this part here. The thing is, if you notice, the relative prone, sorry, the relative clause is this part here. No, oh, sorry. And we already talked about that this one is, can be the word who. Okay, teacher, but yeah. in, in that sentence is up to you. You can use that or who? Yeah, I will I will explain in a moment. Um so here we so we can use that or who. However, if you notice, if you notice what follows that or who, que sigue después? Article. The bear. Over here, look at over here. Look, look at no, the sentence. Or, or there is the. 
or is the oracle? Is article. Article. That. Do we have the verb? Yes or no? No. No, no we don't. Instead, we have the manager. After the manager, we have the verb. The verb. Um, Do you see that? Yeah. You see how that works? So, no. Notice in the other one, I told you that after the ver after who we put the verb, but here, who is not after the verb? Why? Because the subject. And listen carefully, because the subject is not that or who. The subject in this case is the manager. That's a subject. So if this is a subject, what is this? What is that or who? So if the manager is a subject, manager. then that or who is the? The? The connection object. that uh, object. Uh, the, the uh, object. Added. This is the object, okay? So in this case, mm -hmm. that or who is the object, not the subject. Hasta el momento entendemos esto? The subject is right before the verb. And right before the verb is the manager, not that or who. Okay? Does that make sense? So far so good? Yes. Okay. So when the relative pronoun that or who is an object and not the subject, then it's optional. You don't have to use it because we already have a subject. So this is optional. So if you want, I can simply eliminate it. Okay, I can say he is a lawyer the manager met at the meeting. Or I can say he is a lawyer the management at the meeting. So this is optional. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Uh, it's a little bit confused. Okay, just, just think of it this way. If after the that or who, we have a verb, then it's necessary to use. But if after that or who, we don't have a verb, you don't need to use it. Okay. That now it's clear. Yes. Okay. All right. So far, so good? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, perfect. Okay. We're going to stop there today because um, we, you know, time has caught up with us, but I wanted to introduce this topic first because we're going to have to go step by step like they say in Spanish vamos a deglosarlo so we need to understand step by step okay um so but yeah the, this is this is a very good start okay all right so we're going to continue with this idea this topic tomorrow right now um I'm going to simply take attendance. Um, we still are having problems there with the with the list. So what I will do is, as usual, I like like I said yes yesterday, I will take your attendance by um, by calling out the names of the people that are in class. Okay, and you can just simply say present. Okay, so I have. Jose, Jose Carlos Arqueta. Present. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present, teacher. Okay. Eulice Torres Torres. 
Present. Carlos Tom eh, Alberto Domínguez. Present, teacher. Present. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present. Excellent. Carlos Ernesto, eh, sorry, ah, eh, er, oh, no, sorry, no, ya estuvo. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar. Present teacher. Excellent. Edwin Antonio Quinteros, Lumaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Excellent. José Bernardo López. Present miss. Excellent, thank you. Um, José Carlos Argueta. Present, this is the second time. You start with me. Mm, okay, sorry. Okay. Right. Eh, Saben que hagamos una cosa, pagamos todos los, los micrófonos porque cuando, cuando abren los micrófonos se mueven eh, y entonces ya, ya pierdo el, el orden. So, you say present and we turn off the microphone. Ok, um, entonces sabemos José Atilio eh, Serrano. Present teacher. Ok, wonderful. Uh, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Herrera, delgado. Present, present, Miss. Excellent, thank you. Eh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Thank you. Uh, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Um, Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Present. Excellent. Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Uh, Osman Enrique, eh, perdón, Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Sigfrido Hernan Ernesto Gómez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Y Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Wonderful. Ok. No me... ¿Who? José Salvador. Ah, José Salvador. Ok. Quis... Quizás abrió el micrófono quizás antes. Por eso que es... Y cuando mueve el... Cuando le... Eh... ¿Cómo se llama? Cuando siendo dos micrófonos antes, se vuelven uh, en, la, en la parte superior de la, de la lista y entonces ya pierdo el orden donde iba. Por eso. Así que por, cuando le llame así, mejor solamente espere que le diga su nombre y ahí, ahí abren los micrófonos. Ok. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for, uh, for being wonderful and having lots of patience. And I will see you tomorrow. Ok. Bye. Okay, bye. have a good night. Bye. 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 Oh, okay. Hello, Wendy. Tiene el pregunta. Hello, teacher. Apagarlo, yo. Oh. Pero si gusta. Si gusta, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Tiene, ¿Tiene alguna inquietud, alguna pregunta? <ríe> eh, con lo último, teacher, casi no lo, ent no lo entendí mucho. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Entendió la primera parte de la clase? De who? Cuando, ajá, con who. Uh -huh. Sí. Poquito. 
poquito o lo entendió? Poquito. <ríe> Ok. Eh, y ¿Entiende cómo, cómo, cuándo se usa? eh, Sí, cuando se hacen las oraciones. Ajá, pero ¿en Ajá, qué pero... momento lo utilizo? Eh, cuando van las primeras personas y las segundas y en plural y singular. Oh, ok, o sea, pero, pero ¿cuál es el propósito? puede entender bien la clase Ok, entonces no, no, no está muy clara cuál es el propósito. no, no, no dicho Ok, identificar. ok Si, si, por ejemplo, en la clase, hay un montón de gente en la clase, ¿de, de quién estoy hablando? Ah, eh, estoy hablando de eh, la chica que está de rojo. ¿Ya? Entonces eh, puedo identificar quién es, porque hay tantas, tantas chicas. ¿De cuál estoy hablando? La que está de rojo. Ah, ¿de, de cuál chico está hablando? Ah, del que está manejando ahorita. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Entonces me Sí, ayuda teacher. para poder identificar de quién estoy hablando. ¿Ok? Eso, eso es el relative clause. Es un adjetivo que es largo, pero que nos ayuda a identificar. Okay. ¿Ya? Mm -hmm. Ok. So, so far so good? Yes, it's... ¿Sí? Eh, Yeah. Creo que, que solamente esta parte le voy a explicar porque eh, me... Lo más importante ahorita es que entienda esto. Lo demás puede ser un repaso mañana, así que no, no hay tanto prisa, pero, pero eso sí es importante. So, this part here. Um, this part is the part that is the relative clause. Esta parte es la, el, el relative clause. ¿Por qué? Porque nos ayuda a identificar uh -huh. quién es esta persona de acá. Yeah. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. ¿Sí? So, we always start with who. Okay, the relative pronoun always starts, so the relative clause always starts with the word who. Siempre, siempre pensamos con who. Siempre, siempre. Ok. Uh -huh. Hoy aprendimos que también se pueden usar otros, otros, otras palabras, pero ahorita solo quiero que, que se contenten. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, dicho. Y después de who viene el verbo. El verbo. Uh -huh. El verbo puede ser en el presente, pasado, futuro, no importa. O sea que no importa el orden. Importa el orden. O sea, okay. no, perdón, el, o sea, el orden sí, pero no importa si es el, el presente, el futuro, no importa. Mm. Por ejemplo, si usted nota, things está, el, está en el simple present. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Things. Es sí, simple present. sí. Uh -huh. He made. He made. ¿Qué tiempo es? Pasado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Simple past. Uh -huh. Y is, is organizing. Presente. Eh, futuro. Is organizing. Future. No. No. Is organizing. Está organizando. Is organizing. Presente. Uh -huh. What kind of present? Present. Is present what? Yes. Present what? Progressive. Present progress. 
Está en el ah, presente progresivo. es presente progresivo. Ajá. Ah, es lo que no había entendido. Sí, entonces todos están en diferentes tiempos. No importa. El tiempo no importa. No importa. Ajá. It can be in any tense. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. And then we have the complement. Ok. All employees are lazy, decisions unilaterally, a train. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí. Entonces, yes, todo, todo esto, me, toda esta parte de acá. Ay, perdón que se me ha perdido el cursor. Pues aquí está. Ok, toda esta parte de acá me ayuda a identificar de quién estoy hablando. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. ¿Estamos, ¿Estamos bien? Ya, sí, ya. ¿Alguna preguntita? No, teacher. Ok. All right, okay. Bueno. Okay, entonces, eh, con solo que haya entendido eso, todo lo demás lo podemos ver mañana un poquito más detalladamente. Está bien, okay. teacher. All right. All right. Take Good care, night, Wendy. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.